amateur DJ has his first proper gig, let the story commence. Craig had been DJing in his house and doing TikToks and things like that. Um, and it was getting quite popular, just DJing in the house. Why was it getting quite popular? You know, just playing music? No, because he'd be quite animated and he'd sort of make a bit of a show a day in the mixing and things like that, a bit of a joke. A bit like me and my um, uh, This World video. Sort of like moving about, quite... People go, I'd love to see you, I would I would pay good money to come and see you and all that. And some people would say to him, you know, you should do that. You should do that. And he'd be like, ha ha, that'd be funny. It's just, he's just sort of doing it in the house. He did a stream or two. Um, just did a bit of DJing, just for about half an hour or something. I like that, like that, that gif right there. In fact... Oh good, it's right up against the text. I'll get around to uh, changing the, the, the code of like that. I simply just, any times an image tag, just in the, I could do that right now, in fact. What did it say? It's actually mainly at the left that I want it, actually. It's never at the start. Hold on a wee second. Hold on a wee second. I get this right now. Styles. I get this right fucking now. Uh, margin. That's it's margin, isn't it? Margin. How many pixels? Fifteen will do it. Uh, for, what, how, see, see margin and uh, style sheets. If you just do one, it's all the way around. If you do two, it's that's the, the the first one's the top and bottom. Maybe the second one's the left and right. Can't remember. Um, if I could just do fucking margin left, you know what? Margin left. Fuck it. Margin left fifteen. Let me see if that this works. Um, take it off, put it back on. And uh, no, what is it? What did it again? Um, go to that. Um, properties. Shut down source when not visible, that's the one I want. Okay, that. Right, and then... I know you can't see me, by the way. Aye, that'll... That'll do it. There we go. Coder. The coder strikes again. Um, so, people go like, you should fuck it. I would pay good money to come and see you do this. It's all animated like that, kind of doing it in a sort of jokey way, but actually quite good at what, sort of all right. Hard to know be all right though. You stick the fucking MP3s or the fucking flax or whatever, FLACs or whatever, you'd stick them in there and that and then, uh, it basically does all the fucking mixing for you. A lot of these DJs, uh, in between OGs, a lot of lot OGGs, a lot of these DJs, I mean, what did they do between, if they're playing a song for, say, three minutes, imagine they're playing a song for three minutes, and I've got another one after that, they've got to do about three minutes of that. What's happening between 
the song playing and the next one. I mean, really? Does it take three fucking minutes to get the file in and sort of get it all synced up and all that? Fucking that. It's all done for you. Um, anyway, so he was good at that. But the good thing is, the main thing is, he was putting on a show. He's putting on a show. So, somebody approached him and said, we'd like you. It was a sub club in Glasgow. And they said, we'd like you to come and DJ one night. He said, like, oh, no, I couldn't do that. Just, it's just sort of for in the house. It's just a bit of fun. And they're like, we'll pay you 500 quid. And he, he was actually a wee bit skint. We'll pay you 500 quid. And just think it'll be a really good time. We'll, you know, we'll we'll treat you very well, and uh, you know, be, you'll be well looked after, and um, be a good laugh and all that. You know, whatever other DJs that night, so you're not just going to be left by yourself for the whole night. Um, be a good laugh, and you know, I think you really make a lot of people's nights. We only like you, you know. We think this will. Uh, tickets for it will sell out in a, an instant. Won't it like you? You know, we get something out of this as well. We'd love to see you, and I th we think it would be the start of something really big for you. And we'd love to be a part of that. We'd love to be there at the start to say that we, we were the first to give you a gig. I think it would be brilliant. We've met many people who have been in your shoes and like, oh, just, no, I just did it for fun. We'd love for you to do it. And he said, well, what's, what do I have, so what, what, what so how did I get, did I bring my stuff up? And they had a big chat about all that, right? So he told everybody, he did a wee video, I'm going to be appearing at the sub club, uh, then a show, instantly in the comments, oh, that's fucking amazing, all the way, uh, uh, linking the uh, tickets and fucking sold it in about an hour. Sold it in about an hour. Some people... Uh, who liked him like fair broad, um, bought tickets because they liked him and they wanted to contribute, you know, money wise, almost as a kind of like funding sort of thing. You know, just I'm going to buy a ticket, I can't be there. I'm in Brazil, you're in Scotland, but I love the videos. Um, so I want to make sure it sells out because uh, we heard there's a guy called Lummy who we also really like and not enough people bought tickets to his Dublin show so he had to cancel one of the dates and ask people for one of the two uh, dates the one that was cancelled to instead go to the the one it wasn't but no everybody who did get their, sh their show cancelled get tickets for the other one because they probably booked like, a hotel and stuff like that and um, we don't want a repeat of that. We'd rather, you know, you, you there's money in your pocket. Plus, he also did a London date for his show, and he ended up having to sell two for one tickets, and still it didn't sell it, and it uh, broke even. And then after the production company took their cut of the gross, not the net, the gross, the ticket sales, not the profit. The ticket sales, it was actually in the red. And then that production company lifted the money out of Lemmy's money for an unrelated show in Edinburgh that they also produced that did turn a profit. They dipped into that money to pay for the loss of the other production, which they are not allowed to do. And this Lemmy had to get in touch with his agent and say, I've just noticed this. They're not allowed to do that, are they? And the agent went, no, I don't think so. I'm going to sort it out. 
and you know that got sorted out. But Lemmy had to go through an actual spreadsheet and spot that by himself. He saw that something wasn't quite adding up. He put the work in. And he had to overcome his Scottish self-hatred. Because this whole cliche, this whole fucking stereotype of being miserly and penny pinching and stuff like that. He had to go, I know what they're going to think of me, but I'm going to do it anyway. I want my fucking money. Um, and we don't want that happening to you, they said to Craig. Some of them didn't say that, but they thought it. Anyway, so Craig turned up, um, got all set up. And he said, how the ticket sales go? Sold it. And Craig was actually nervous. Um, eventually got all set up, did a wee test. That's it. And he was doing a wee sort of, they're like, go do the dancing thing. Oh, I'm just going to save it for the... When I do it, oh, no, just go, because we need to actually check to see if it's bumping about. And, all right. Let's stop. I can't even, I've got to stun up. There, that, that. Right, do you need a wee bit more room? That is it. No, it's just because you're here. And I'm normally, I'm used to sort of just sort of doing it in the house by myself. I feel a wee bit intimidated. Well, <laughs> intimidated, but just us. There's going to be a ton of people. If you're intimidating, can I walk away? He's like... <sighs> anyway. Um, right, we're just going to open the doors then. It was like... Uh, 10 o'clock... Uh, 9 o'clock. 9. Kind of early sort of start. Um, and right... So, some people started coming in. There was a, a kind of warm-up DJ first, you know, just somebody there just... He wasn't like, he was the main event, so the, the warm-up DJ was just sort of like, like pre-club tunes. Um, and then Craig took a look at, he was to come on at 10. And it was about 10 to 10, he looked at it. And something was kind of weird, he, he didn't quite know. And then the, the boss came out and said, Right, on you go then. He went, well, what way is it? I can't hear anybody. Is it, it's right, I've got... What? Nothing. And Craig went out and they realised what was wrong. There was about 10 people there. Club can fit about, I don't know, how many? A few hundred? A couple of hundred maybe, 300? Don't know. There was about 10 people. Um, and the, the, the music was like reverberating around the place in like a big empty fucking... It didn't have people to absorb the sound. So it was um, kind of echoey. Do you know what I mean? Reverb, like a like in a fucking warehouse. Um, Craig went out, and it was just ten people. And they went like, that. "Hey!" And a few few other ones didn't say it. And they were just like, that. "But all, all of them right away were like that." Right up at the DJ, a bit like that. Resting their elbows like that. It was, a, it, was a, it was a Wednesday night. And Craig started playing his tunes. And he was looking a bit. Tapping his foot. And they're like, go for it. He's like,
There's only 10 of them. And a place that fits about 300 maybe. What? And the boss guy sort of walked by. He went, hey, here, uh, where is everybody? He said, that, I thought he said sold it. No, you'll get your money, don't worry. No, where is everybody? Went, this, uh, it's, it's sold out. Maybe they're taking a bit of time. There's a lot of people for abroad, though. Right. I'll look at it, I'll look at you, get on with it. Spoke to him like that, get on with it. Okay, I went back to it and never like that. Go! Said somebody watching. On you go, big man. On you go, big man. And, and he just, Craig thought like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. And he went like that. And went, ooh! But he could hear himself clip clopping about, you know, doing that. You could hear it so fucking. Just. Is that the boss? Uh, can we turn it up? I can hear it's kind of quiet. No, we keep it. We don't like it too loud. It's the, today with acoustics. We can stick. They can stick it up once people. There's more people in. Sort of absorbs it. We have to kind of keep it down because it, when it, when it's bouncing off the walls, it sort of. It's today with acoustics. Believe it or not, I don't know much about acoustics even though I fucking run the place. But the experts have told us you kind of it too loud when it's that empty. You turn it up when it's. Uh, so I just I can hear I can hear them like practically breathing and they can sort of hear me clip clopping a bit. Clip clopping, claps. No, my feet, but I'm doing my dance. All oh, right, right, go for it then. No, I'm saying. So, what is it? Did you look into it? I what's happened is, uh, I think a lot of people abroad. We looked at your comments, your video, to see if anybody's saying they're going to be turning up. A lot of them had bought tickets, folk in Brazil and things like that. A lot of people watch. You wanted to support you and make sure I hadn't sold it, so they bought lots of tickets, and basically. Uh, basically, the people who are here, the, them, that eight people there, uh, they're the only people who bought tickets who actually intended and showing up. But the main thing is, you're getting paid and we're getting paid. And Craig went, it's not much, no much an atmosphere. And the guy went like, listen to you, you're a big professional. Well, you were like that, you're saying you were nervous in front of us, look, look. look. There you go. You got what you wanted. Look on the bright side. And the boss started to walk away. And Craig went, eh. Uh. And there was somebody to DJ about that. Craig! Craig, and he went like that. Just hold on, hold on a second. Oh, look at that. Look at him. No, no pictures, please. Because he stuck his horn up. He went, no, just give us a second. Oh, he's sticking his finger up. No, I was doing that. No, that. Oh, they got him doing that. To demonstrate that's no what he was doing. Took a picture and everything. He went, ah, oh, oh, fuck. Mate. He forgot the boss's name. Mate. He went, how long have I, how long I'm on for? Yeah, hey, that's you. That's me done. No, that's you. That's you for the, end of the, night, the rest of the night. What time does it stop? Three. But it's ten. Hi. Five or set. The end. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. We step away. <laughs>